I want 47's head on a platter in front of me ASAP! Hey everyone, what's going on? It's Ryan from MysteryGamers.com. We're back in Hitman Absolution, you know, doing some more guys, a little punching, fighting the law. We're taking the law into our own hands. And it didn't really work out too well because they really didn't need our help. So they kind of were like, you know what? So this gang guy is like, it. Oh, and yeah, he's not, wasn't, Gavin wasn't too smart there. He was just like, I'm above this, gonna rush you, ditch you. Look at that pile of bodies. You're gonna want to make sure that you pile the bodies up. It's like a massacre, you gotta take all the clothes off, and then the other gang guy's like, Hey, what are you doing with those bodies? So you're like, I don't know. And then more cops just kind of show up in, on the scene. And I really, um, uh, yep, didn't really uh, take a very successful uh, approach to this entire, um, to the first cut for the first part of this mission. But, to be completely honest, I killed everybody. So, oh, checkpoint. You're gonna when you go through that uh, graveyard, no, not really graveyard, but like the work area, art yard there. There's a checkpoint in the door, so you may want to make sure you activate that right here. Um, I thought this would be funny. Uh, didn't know the guy wasn't here when I did this, cause the one round he was. So I shot the explosion, and it was like boom. And then I was walking away, and then boom, there it goes again, and like all the cars completely totaled in flames. That was pretty sweet, actually. Uh, so then you're gonna walk up here to the store. This guy's dicking around. I don't know what I just smacked him in the face with, but, um, you wanna make sure you just smash his face, you know, cause knock him over, and then make sure you turn the stove on. Just so, like, if anyone comes out there, like, oh shit, dead body, boom, explosion, doesn't even know. Uh, but, oh, didn't know that, um, yeah, if you do that, and if you die, like I did, um, kinda gotta do it all over again. So this time he was up here in this building, so I killed him just with the guns. Killing everybody, taking names, you know. Being a jackass, dual wielding. My accuracy sucks, okay? Mike was over, and he was like, I'm a beast at this game. I'm like, no, you're not going to beat this part. He beat it, like, the third, th the third try. And it took me, like, three hours. He beat it, like, on the fifth try. So I was like, god damn it. I suck. So, um, yeah, you're going to open up the door, pick the lock. You know, you got to take out the guards, leave no witnesses. Uh, you're going to be breaching and clearing here, just kind of creeping in. Oh, got the achievement. Lenny subdued. Why? We didn't even do anything. That's right, we didn't do anything, because you don't know how to do it. But, um, there's your achievement, 10 gamer score. Uh, you subdued Lenny, so that's, I mean, you're abducting him this, this level, so, I mean, any which case scenario. But what you're going to want to do to get inside here is this is the most crucial part. You have to take both these guys out, otherwise they're, like, little bitches towards you. So, you're going to use the bottles and shit. They give you plenty of shit to throw, so you throw it over. They're wandering over, they're like, ooh, what's this, what's this? <laughs> Just to do them, you know. If you subdue them, you don't lose as many points as if, like, you were to take that string and choke them or, or snap their neck. But then you're going to go back up on the ledge, climb through the window. And there's many ways you can see Lenny. The easiest way is not this way, but you pick up the sleeping pills and you go through the sleeping pills downstairs in the pizza. But the easiest way is to walk down here, and you got this little cop here. You make sure you take your time, because you don't want to miss his head. Um, just take him out, throw him in the closet in the other room. Go over here, grab the barber's outfit. Take maybe about five five minutes. Lenny will walk right in and be like, oh, yeah, little haircut, shave me up a little bit, uh, trim me up. And then you're like, oh, Punch him twice in the air, that'll knock him out, takes him down, you subdued Lenny, and that's when your achievement should pop. So, uh, if it popped before then, you did something wrong. Oh, there's the pizza. So then you're going to want to get these other gang guys when they're kind of away from everybody. So right here I got him when he was walking outside. Luke was being a douche, so I kind of fucked him up. Oh, and you can hide Lenny just in the bar shop, you know, just throw him by a chair or something. You know, no one will go in there. I mean, who needs to get the haircut? Lenny didn't even need a haircut. His hair was perfect. It was like, mmm. Then you're going to creep up on this guy who's pissing. I really thought when you had the sledgehammer, you smashed him in the head with it. But I guess you just choke him out with it. And that's really a stupid animation for it. But um, we get this guy. Didn't see his name. And uh, we're going to want to make sure he had the body, of course. No witnesses. Because no one's going to notice the gang guys are gone. Uh, So, I think, was that chest full or something? Or were you just, like, fucking around there, boy? So, throw him in there. Wander find your way back to the barber shop. There's Lenny. Drag him up. And you're going to be like, Ugh, a lot of work, you know, kidnapping someone you don't even know. Walk over to the door, open it up, throw him in the trunk. He wakes up, he's like, oh shit, what happened? And boom. Uh, Agent 47, very smooth when it comes to abducting people. Like, he's just on par. 